Today we're going to be talking about The Playmates, Godzilla Kong, The New Empire, Tiamat, finally, and energized Godzilla and Kong with Battle Axe. Titty Matt over here will be standing just under four inches tall if you go by the broken up ravioli noodles around her neck. Just under three inches tall if you just go by the little pointed part of her nose. But standing straight up, this figure is almost nine inches tall. Energized Godzilla will be standing under six inches tall. Kong will be standing under six inches tall. Shokugan, movie, king, sham, neck, Hi! So up first, let's talk about Tiamat, since she's the main reason why people are here. But for a hot second, here's the back of the box. No Mothra featured. And here is a picture of Tiamat, featuring some paint that didn't make it to the final figure. But screw it, let's talk about Noodle. All right, Danger Noodle Deluxe over here is going to be one colorful offering from that of Playmates. Now I know this isn't the colorway people wanted for Tiamat. They wanted what she looked like underwater, but take a look at it this way. Wave four, wave five, this is apparently wave three, so it could happen. How many friggin' recolors do we have of Godzilla? I know he's the main character, but eh. <laughs> is he the main character anymore? <laughs> So right up front, Tiamat is going to be this Baja Blast Danger Noodle with mixtures of purple all along her little tendril-like back spines over here. I quite dig this little colorway that Playmates uh, decided upon. And of course, I really would have perfoli God in heaven, that is a wonky-eyed little danger noodle. <laughs> yes, I would have preferred the dark blue and neon pink of what we saw in the film, but this is just as good. Now, I'm not going to talk about it like I know. I don't know if the actual model looked like this without all the murky deep waters and such, but this was present in Dope Pope's concept art and a few other art pieces if I can find them. So it's not exactly like Playmates was just like, this is our artistic take on the franchise. Paramount plus Halo show. Now, there is some point to uh, Tiamat looking this specific way. I don't hate it. I would love it if they did the neon pink version. But honestly, what we get here really ain't bad. And for something that Playmates hasn't done with the Godzilla and MonsterVerse license before, I think they did a bang up job. And once we get to articulation, I mean, I'm sure some of you can see it peeking through already, but oh man, it is a fun, fun time and we do get some underbelly paint going on over here. And it leads directly up to her lower jaw, where it just abruptly stops. I do wish the rest of the underbelly was painted, but look at all that beautiful purple. It's my second favorite color. Now, yes, admittedly, this uncooked pasta color going on over here is a bit middling. The detailing is kind of missed out upon, but open up that danger noodle mouth. And we do get some lovely detailings in there, but most of it is just going to be blank, undetailed, undercooked pasta. Right. The detailing on Titty Matt's face looks pretty good, and that pretty much goes for nearly every aspect of her design in figure format. And unless Haya Toys decides to make a Tiamat figure, Haya, this is probably the best we're going to get for a price that is workable. Some of her whisker-like little tendrils are going to have details on them, some more minute than others. And yes, those eyes are missing the purple around them and are applied in a hilarious friggin' way. But God damn, this purple is so nice. The detailing on Tiamat's body is very scaly, dragon-like almost, but it's also quite intricate and very much praiseworthy for, what was this, 10 bucks? I mean, damn, look at that. And damn, look at that, what's going on, dude? Yeah, paint might leave some to be desired, but for the most part, I would definitely call Tiamat a a very big win for Playmates. Yeah, it's not perfect, but I gotta give Playmates credit where it's due. This is something very different than they're usually doing with the MonsterVerse license, so I'm going to give Paint and Detail a solid star. Not just for her, but also for Submarinera Submarine over here. Well, at least in terms of detailing, because this thing is just jet black. Nice, nice, very nice. Minimal, sure but this can definitely be used for other Godzilla figures for set dressings or just uh, weapons, whatever you wanna do. That's pretty much it for paint and detail. Now let's take a look at articulation. There's a lot. Alrighty, starting at the head, Tiamat can look all the way up and not all the way down, but neutral head stance down. We will also get a swivel. Titty Mark Easy can also open her mouth up 
all the friggin' way. Danger Noodle in danger. At the first elbow of her body, we will be able to swivel all the way around, bend forward pretty decently, bend back just as easily, and we'll also get a side-to-side -side movement. This is very obviously a ball joint that we've got going on here. But oh boy, do I love it. At the shoulder blades over here, we will be able to hinge out and swivel all the way around. At the second elbow over here, we're going to get another ball joint. So up and down, all the way around. It's a fun time. It's a noodly time. Same thing for over here. So Tiamat can effectively scrunch in very, very nicely, and then just flop herself back as well. This is a long figure. And despite the figure being rather floppy, like post-coital jumping jacks, maybe, you can still get a healthy amount of poses out of her. And before I continue with any more of that kind of talk, full swivel, lovely hinge, as well as a ball joint at the tail. Flip! You can make her long and stringy like a dragon. You can even make her tight and hunched like a cat. Hell, you can even wrap her around other figures from this line and maybe others. Sorry, Scar King. Kong's got you beat for the whip slash. He's got a Tiamat slash. You pathetic loser. Tiamat is colorful. She is posable and she's floppy. And the floppiness not essentially affecting her posability is quite a big plus. So articulation's gonna get a solid star. I love this little thing. Yeah, it's a kid's toy and I'm in my 30s. I don't give a shit. One can only hope that Haya Toys will do Tiamat just as much justice as Playmates did. Ball joints, maybe a little bit of bendy wire here and there, but mostly ball joints, please. Speaking of which, before we get to Monkey and Lizard. Noodle gang, 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 something about drugs. All right, everybody, that concludes the review of Tiamat. If you don't care about Godzilla and Kong, I'll see you next time. Here we have the back of Godzilla and Kong's boxes. As you can see, there's really not too much difference, save for the placement of both Godzilla and Kong and Tiamat. It's, it's, it's a thing. And once again, I really wish Godzilla actually looked like this instead of what we got. Garbanzo Billis and Monty Python over here are essentially going to be the exact same of what we've gotten both for the GDK line and the GXK line. Monk over here is going to be sporting a snarling face this time though, which I definitely feel is much better looking than the roaring head, save for those eyes looking every which way. My god, he's got SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2014 syndrome. Grr, I'm angry. Grr, did you just put a glass down on my favorite coffee table without using a coaster. Yes, this is a returning theme and I hate when people do that. There's coasters on the coffee table for a reason. Yeah, uh, save for the eyes, the painting and the detailing that is on display with Kugis over here looks cool. Lovely fur detailing and some, oh, it could be better. <sighs> Save for the new head, without the presence of reds and yellows and such. Yeah, same thing. The axe is gonna look a bit darker via comparison, and it looks like I had some dried paint bubbles going on over here. Damn it. Opposite side looks a lot better, though. Detailing is pretty dang good, if you ask me. Fingernails and wrinkles, very much high on the displayability. The monkey feet will indeed feature some tiny toenails. These you really have to look for. The uh, big toe over here definitely being a little bit more obvious. And what else can I say? He's different shades of brown and gray with the scars on the center of his chest. The axe looks fine. Uh, <laughs> the eyes kind of suck. I really wish we got the promo colorway versus the final product colorway. His eyes are kind of fucky here, but I do like the presence of gums paint. Oh, and the mouth is different too. This one looks like he's trying to cork out a hot shit. This one looks like he's trying to give another ape the gurgle. I can't do it. So this is meant to be a very basic and by the numbers Kong, so I really can't be too hard on the paint and this thing looking plain, but uh, the eyes kind of put me off just a bit, but eh, it's a $10 figure, so yeah, half a star in terms of paint, solid star in terms of detail. Articulation wise, Kong's gonna kind of have this weird almost ball joint going on with his head. We'll be able to swivel all the way around, up, ish and then down ish i mean can i push that further okay yeah i might break that but yeah there's an up and down motion arms can swivel all the way around they can go out about that far swivel at the elbow bend at the elbow swivel at the wrist over here a little bit of wobble going on there the legs can kick up about that far back not all that far. Get a nice bend in at the knee. Painful bend out at the knee. Thighs can swivel out and probably 
Yep, all the way around. Don gets a solid star in terms of articulation. Short, sweet, and to the point, right? Gudon gets over here. I feel like Playmates had the right idea. They were just using the wrong figure for it. As you can see on the back of this box over here, it clearly looks like they used the Heat Ray Godzilla from the GVK line that had the black skin. Why they went with the Radio Tower Godzilla with the blue base just confuses me beyond all word. As the Mountain Dew Voltage paint application is kind of cool, I really do dig it, it kind of almost looks redundant and gets lost with the base color plastic. Playmates, just use a darker base color plastic Godzilla and re-release this and you'll be cooking. Yes, this blue paint is thickly applied, like it looks great, but it just needed a darker base to go on top of because, ugh. Oh yeah, look at that fall off. <laughs> I wouldn't go as far to say this sucks, but I would absolutely go ahead and say you probably don't need to pick this up ever. I mean, if you want an energized Godzilla from Godzilla Kong the New Empire, Haya's got one coming out, I believe next year. But as you can see, Godzilla is not just dripping with paint. As he comes with a nifty little battle drone, which I believe is new, uh, well, to the Godzilla and MonsterVerse stuff, and it's finely detailed, it looks nice, and you can put it in Godzilla's hand as you already saw, or you can get it in his mouth. He's having himself a drone snack. Now the other obvious thing to talk about is just Godzilla's little Swedish fish over here. Um. Both Alex, who got these figures for me, thank you so much there, Alex, very much appreciate it, and a couple of subscribers actually told me, don't try taking this off as it's super glued in, and it's true. I can't get this thing off. I mean, I don't even have fingernails in order to do that, and I really don't want to mess up the paint, even though it really doesn't look that great, but I imagine if you get a sharp enough object, you can probably scoop this out of Godzilla's chest, but it wasn't meant to, and you can tell this was exceptionally last minute, if not for the paint, but the leftover gimmick from a GVK figure. Oh yeah, and the dorsal fins, they're translucent blue, they're bluer at the root than they are at the tips, and they are nice and translucent, so, there is that. We've seen this before a bajillion times. Oh, and before you ask. Yes, he has a port on the top of his mouth over here. So yes, you can shove a heat ray accessory from other Godzilla figures in there, and it'll be just fine. Godzilla's so lucky. His mom let him have a submarine, a battle drone, and a heat ray. Mm. Paint, and I guess paint execution's gonna get a half a star from me. It looks nice in some areas, but seriously, you needed a darker base color to go along with this blue, just like in the promo photo. Detailing is nice for a $10 figure, as is the accessory inclusion. So a solid star in terms of detailing, and, um, yeah, Kong gets a solid star for his axe, and Godzilla's gonna get a solid star for the drone. And now, is there... Anything, uh, okay, yeah, light movement at the head. Again, I don't wanna break this and this doesn't feel like it's gonna cooperate. Jaw can open and close. No hinge joint at the arms, but they can swivel all the way around. Pre-positioned back leg over here can kick forward about that far and then back. Pre-positioned forward leg can kick that far forward and that far back. Oh boy, look at this swimming pose. It looks like a sarcophagus falling out of the sky. And we'll get a ball joint at the tail over here so it can go up and down, side to side. Side. And just like the neck, you can get some turnage out of the feet, but yeah, they don't do much. I'll give God Kringus a solid star in terms of articulation because it just, it, it works. It does what it does. Could it be better? Sure, but yeah. I don't know why they glued Godzilla's tits down because I feel like that's still like a gimmick you could utilize, but it's what they did. If you came here for Tiamat, but stayed all the way through, Thank you. If you came here for Tiamat and didn't stay all the way through, I get it. No hard feelings. I have been Shinrob Jira, and I have got a fresh haircut. And when next we meet, if the world of shipping notifications doesn't screw me over, it's going to be 2019 Sham versus Burning Sham. And oh boy, you cannot tell me otherwise. <laughs>